Hey everyone, welcome in to a, another daily editorial here on the KE Report. In this daily editorial, we are getting an update from Graphene Manufacturing Group, also known as GMG, traded on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol GMG. I'm chatting with the, again, founder and CEO, Craig Nickel. Now, Craig, following up on news that came out yesterday, July 14th, GMG announced in-house battery pilot plant investment. So essentially, the company is starting to invest in manufacturing tools that can build in-house the company's, or at least initially, prototypes for the coin cell batteries here. Now, it's something we've been talking a lot about GMG is working in conjunction with the University of Queensland to build out these graphene aluminum ion batteries. So far, the testing has shown that these batteries exceed what lithium uh, aluminum ion batteries can do. So, Craig, tell us this strategy. What is it all about building this pilot plant? How is this going to help the company? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Corey. Uh, this is we're very excited about this step for the company. Uh, so we already have two factories, uh, our graphene plant and then our liquids plant, liquids uh, graphene plant. So this is an additional pilot plant that we'll have. We'll take the graphene straight out of the, uh, the, the reactor, put it straight into our own uh, coin cells, and then eventually, very shortly after that, our own pouch packs, test them in-house. Uh, we have a bunch of different other um, companies that will, and institutes will test them as well. But this will really think, we really think this will accelerate our commercial production plant uh, and then provide more testing products for our potential customers as well. So we're very, very excited about it. It, it really does give us that vertical integration, which I think a lot of people would love to have in this industry. Uh, and given that we're only adding our graphene to aluminium, um, uh, and then, you know, that's basic with battery, what we then have is, um, you know, the, a huge ability to run various different types of tests and see what works best. This, of course, is in conjunction with our work with University of Queensland, who are still ongoing, doing more work, making more coin cells for us. Uh, and so that this is just in conjunction with their work as well. So that was a question that I was going to have, too, is that your company is working with the University of Queensland to develop these type of batteries how does it tie into the production plant then? Does the advancements with University of Queensland, can that be used in this pilot plant? Yeah, totally. So we can interchange products and parts um, from the different two plants. We're only about 20 minutes apart from each other uh, by, by, by road. So we can you know, do some work in some part of the plant and then do some other work in other part of the plant. We obviously will make um, and test in different plants. Uh, and they will be doing a lot of R&D to progress the, the, the electrolyte further uh, and also the, the surface perforation of our graphene. So there will be you know, multiple streams progressing. Um, but this pilot plant for us is also really getting our whole company up to speed on every single step that we need to make with our own battery. It's a very simple battery. It's using existing lithium ion battery technology. Uh, and that's really enabling us to manufacture these, uh, you know, with equipment that's already existing quite fast. Uh, and then that'll then get us a really good understanding of what the customer wants as well. You know, in the end of the day, we're listening to what the customer wants. And if they want a certain type of battery with a certain type of style, we will then orientate our, our, our plant and battery towards that as well, which is what we'll get through this. So it increases cycle time, but in conjunction with the excellent work that University of Queensland's doing, um, it, will, it will just add on to that as well. So this really seems like the company now moving almost fast tracking towards commercialization of these batteries. What does that process look like? You're right now just announcing that you're starting to acquire equipment. What's the process? What's the time frame to actually getting some initial batteries out the door? Yeah, so we're still holding to the commercial prototype being finalized by the end of this year for the coin cell. Uh, the commercial prototype for a pouch pack by the end of 2022, so end of next year. Um, and But in the meantime, of course, we'll be sending them to customers and saying, can you please test this? And uh, we'll test it ourselves. And uh, and then once we've, we're very clear on the type of prototype, um, the type of product we want to make, it's really it's how much energy we, we want to put into each coin cell. That's the first thing. Uh, we have a, a plethora of options, um, but the fast charging and the recyclability, and you know, we're already out to about 10 years um, in terms of 
length of use for the uh, the coin cell um, means that you you have a, you know a real um, wide range of applications. So we're we're looking at you know, which applications will want to use our our batteries first, uh, and then we'll we'll pick a few development partners. I think that's the next thing. I would hopefully come back to you guys with some announcements around that, and that'll then show us show the, the market that you know we're really being taken very seriously by a number of very big companies and small and medium-sized companies who want batteries that can be very um, progressive and next generation compared to their, their lithium batteries that they currently use. So yeah, coin cell prototypes by the end of this year finalized. Where we get to in terms of when we start commercial production, that'll be a, a, a mixture of um, a commercial conversations with customers, our um, a production uh, scale up uh, progress and and of course our product um, definition and whether we're clear that that is what we want to do if we can obviously accelerate the production commercial production um, we will obviously do that um, and then then the pouch pack is the next phase so and then once we start getting that into front of customers getting them to test it that that'll then start to understand when that commercial production plant for the pouch pack will come online as well. So it's very exciting. Um, lots of people very interested. Uh, lots of activity. Uh, lots of different applications. Um, and you know, lot, really, you know, it's 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 a pleasure to be in this space because there's there's many things that we can we can do to maximise the, the the success for this company, and that's what we we plan to do. And that's I think that's what we will do. We'll continue to do. So Craig, what's the potential variation here of what the company could produce in terms of batteries just in the coin cell prototypes that those are going to be the first ones out the door but you even said in the news release the company has received a large number of inquiries about the promising battery technology so what's the variation here that investors could see well you know you could see various different types of coin cells um, that we might release over time because we can put um, various different amounts of graphene, which then increase the amount of energy that you could put in a coin cell or in, or in the battery. You could also see all different types of adaptations in, in, in the battery as well, which would enable it to work better with different technologies that, that they go into. You see you've got everything from you know, hearing aids, uh, Internet of Things sensors, which well, there'll be billions of sensors that will need small little rechargeable batteries that will last for very long periods of time. And We've got a lot of IoT companies coming out saying, you know, when when can we have your batteries? Then you've got into personal appliances, um, and then you've got um, a, a, you know a large number of uh, companies that have small pouch packs that we could actually even supply them, you know, coin cells in in exchange for, because it, it's creeping up into that space of high energy, really fast charging. So you, your coin cell offering there is is. Is its existing market, but what we're seeing is that there are new applications coming online with IoT sensors that need a lot of you know millions and millions of these small um, charging, fast charging, deep energy cycle batteries. And our battery is basically um, perfect for that type of application. And it's a burgeoning uh, market, and and it's um, obviously uh, a huge market that, that people see eventually for that too. So that those are the types of things that we're talking to people about. But obviously up front, it's, you've got many applications who already use um, these uh, small uh, coin cell batteries, um, your 2032s and such things um, that we can already um, look to, to supply to already. So Craig, any insights on how much it's going to cost to build out this pilot plant? Yeah, so the order of magnitude for the pilot plant is is really um, not uh, not an enormous amount. Um, the 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 amount for the commercial production plant we're still working that that through. Uh, that will then you know provide us with uh, you know once we've worked out exactly how many we want to make, how many millions we want to make a year, and the size of it will then be able to be clearer, and then we'll start to be able to tell people publicly what that would could look like. Um, but it's it's not out of the question that would be able to fund it with with not too much um, uh, money. So um, it, it there's a number of ways that that we're working through that um, government uh, conversations um, about potential government grants and and many other things um, that that are out there. So what 
the 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 way we're we're working through now is working out uh, exactly you know what type of batteries we need to make, uh, how many we we need to make, uh, and then saying, well, okay, where where should that be based initially, uh, and then and then trying to then locate and and finalise that into a really complete package. Uh, then the pouch pack, pack uh, factory or, or production site will be an order of magnitude probably 10 times bigger um, because that will have to be at um, a much bigger scale than the coin cell factory. Uh, and that is going to be a much bigger site, um, much bigger capital budget. But we believe once we've delivered the coin cell factory that you'll then be able to see a, um, you know, a large amount of um, professional delivery that that we can then be expected to push through the pouchback factory. And then once we've done that, we think we can then go on to a much larger plant. Yesterday's announcement around the pilot plants, it's a really the first step. Uh, we're, we're very excited about it and really gives us a lot greater access to, to production uh, progress as well as customer feedback as well. Yeah, very interesting, Craig. All this move towards some sort of commercial production, right? And not just in the coin cell, also in the pouch packs. And as you mentioned, bringing on development partners, right? That's also going to fast track this. Wrap us up then just with general overview of news that people can expect, investors can expect out of the company, out of both the battery side, because the battery side really has driven this stock much higher and any other aspects of the company, please. Yeah, sure. I think you know we'd um, hopefully be able to come to come to the market shortly with some news around our TXR energy savings um, that we've seen uh, through um, our third-party review of our of our work on air conditioning energy savings. So that's one product that um, you know that we've got some great data on, and we hopefully able to come out shortly with those new that news that third-party verified verified uh, uh, savings. Then, um, you know, I think shortly after that, we'd probably be able to talk a bit about our graphene lubricant uh, additive uh, concentrate and, and the performance um, we believe we can add there in terms of our performance um, measurements for external third parties again. And, you know, hopefully we you know come to with some good uh, revenue story as well, which we're obviously working on pretty hardly, pretty hard uh, to be able to. Uh, you know, show how these um, this will, uh, in the end, um, make a very profitable company. Um, of course, the battery uh, space will continue to 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 bring as we get it more performance data. We're currently at about 3,000 cycles, um, very high amperage rate already with our coin cells. So um, we look to continue to test um, in all these different ways, and when we have more data, we'll we'll definitely bring that to market. Uh, and then, you know, as we do lock in development partners, I think that's something we'd, we'd also dearly love to come in and talk to people about as well. All right. Well, Craig, I appreciate the update. In full disclosure, I am a shareholder of GMG. So if anybody has any follow up questions, please email me fleck at kereport.com. We'll also follow up with Craig on the back of some more news, any developments in any aspect of this company. Craig, I appreciate the update. Thank you. We'll touch base again on the back of some more news. Excellent. Thanks, Corey.